chain restaurants in the country. Well, nearly 48,000 diners weighed in on their favorites in this month's Consumer Reports. Senior Project Editor Todd Marks is here with the results. Todd, good morning. Nice good morning, to see you. Nice to see you too. Four basic criteria, mm -hmm. right? Food, mood, value, and service. It doesn't get any more elemental than that. All right. Did all of those things carry the same weight, or is one more important than the other? Well, they were all the key parameters. They, within reason, they're all the same. All right. Let's get right to the Italian category, mm -hmm. okay? And in this category, one of the best-rated restaurants was Bravo Cucina Italiana, and one of the lower rated was Romano's Macaroni Grill. Talk about the differences. Well, you know, the good thing is that most of these chains are good at what they do. They manage to please most people most of the time. But the Italian segment's filled with a lot of players and a lot of really good ones. Romano's is terrific. It did above average. But the bar has been raised for performance in the Italian category. And Bravo, which is about a quarter of the size, it really did on exemplary level. Above average scores. In food and in quality also of ambiance. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, kind of the mood, the ambiance we create, which is part of the dining experience. Very uh, important. Let's move on to the pub style or grill restaurant. At the high end of the range, you have hula hands. Mm -hmm. And on the low end, you've got the Hard Rock Cafe. Why? Well, you know, with hula hands, again, above average food, mood, service but they and they've also improved their game in the recent years compared to earlier seen as a neighborhood restaurant by the way yes yes it's it's more subdued now you want to talk about loud let's talk about the hard rock it's all about the music the memorabilia the experience but a lot of people really gave it bad marks for value that pulled it down and it also was considered it had, it had worse service or I mean, more people complained about service i should say there than they did any other restaurant. hard rock cafe responded to the results and said today's report doesn't align with our own in independent research which is collected minutes after the guest experience to ensure it is accurately captured and their findings aren't indicative of our recent business performance. Okay, let's Fair move enough. on to the family restaurant category and breakfast chain. First watch did very well on the other end of the spectrum was Friendly's. Talk to me about those two. Well, if you've never heard of First Watch, you really should, because they're a chain that's been on our radar screen for quite a while now in our service, and they've topped the ratings for a long time. Family restaurants are great because they're informal, they're great for kids, they're indestructible, you can be yourself. And, but they generally lack when it comes to the quality of the food and the service. However, they did very well. Superb. Friendly, sadly, has been at the lower end of the ratings, but again, they do a good job at what they do, but they, again, fell short, especially in the cleanliness area. All right, let me also give Friendly's their say, because they issued a statement as well. They said, since Friendly's emerged from bankruptcy in January of this year, the company has had a singular focus on improving the customer experience in every one of our 389 restaurants across the 16 states. We understand the root cause of this issue and have sent, seen recent improvements in our customer experiences. So maybe they'll be on the upswing next time, next time around. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some other major chains, Cheesecake Factory, Red Lobster, Uno's. Yeah, some very big chains. Again, they're kind of middle of the road chains. They're above average, but the bar has been raised, so there are some better players in their respective categories. As I mentioned, $1.7 billion a day amazing? spent by Americans in restaurants. So some quick tips that you've got. Snip out some specials and eat when others don't eat or at the bar. Oh, yeah, you can get 395 bar items. You can order off a smaller, more informal menu, especially or off hours. Even get cheap drinks at fancy restaurants. Uh, and join an eat club. Oh, yeah, that's the way to go. It's like a preferred shopper card at the supermarket. At Maggiano's Little uh, Italy, they're wonderful. Just for signing up, you get a $10 coupon for your first meal. Which is a good deal.